Miranda Lambert, Hank Williams Jr., Nellie, Leonard Skinner and Moore will join the pair at select dates Jason Aldean and Kid Rock are hitting the back roads. On Monday, the country musicians announced they will join forces for the Rock the Country Tour, where they'll be headlining seven small-town festivals across the United States from April through July 2024. Appearing at the top of the bill for all seven stops from R. Aldean, 46, and Kid Rock, 52, who will be joined by the likes of Miranda Lambert, Hank Williams Jr., Leonard Skinner, and others at select dates. Rock the country is for everyone who makes this country run and loves America. Nobody knows how to party like small town America, Kid Rock said in a release. Rock the country will be making stops in Kentucky, Alabama, and South Carolina, with the seven stop tour commencing in Louisiana on April 5th and 6th. All seven stops will feature two days of performances. Other acts taking the stage at various shows include Travis Tritt, Lee Bryce, Nelly, Warren Ziders, Big and Rich featuring Gretchen Wilson, Randy Hauser, Uncle Cracker, and more. This festival is our way of giving back to these communities and providing an experience like never before. We are passionate about curating an event that combines top-tier musical talent with the charm of small-town America, and we can't wait for fans to join us on this historic musical journey, Nathan Bao, president of 46 Entertainment, shared in a release. Rock the Country is more than just a festival, it's a celebration of music, community, and the shared love for country music that binds us all together, continued Bao. Pre-sale tickets for the tour will be available Thursday, while public sale begins Friday. The festival run comes on the heels of controversies from both Aldine and Kid Rock. Originally released in May, Aldine's chart-topping track Try That in a Small Town drew criticism over the summer from listeners who accused the singer of encouraging violence and racism with the song's lyrics. Aldine also filmed its music video at the site of a 1927 lynching in his town of Columbia, Tennessee. Speaking to CBS Mornings this past month, Aldean argued that there was people of all color doing stuff in the video. There was white people in there. There was black people. I mean, this video did not shine light on one specific group and say, that's the problem. And anybody that saw that in the video, then you weren't looking hard enough in the video, is all I can tell you, he said. The musician also addressed the video's filming location of the Morey County Courthouse, where 18-year-old black man Henry Choate was lynched nearly 100 years before. As Aldean explained, he wasn't aware of the history of the building when he filmed the clip, and he would probably not film there again. But also, I don't think, again, I'm not gonna go back 100 years and check on the history of this building, he said. If you're in the South, you could probably go to any small town courthouse, you're going to be hard pressed to find one that hasn't had some sort of racial issue over the years at some point. I mean, that's just a fact. Despite the controversy, Aldean defended his intentions releasing the song, adding that he would do it over again, every time, minus the setting, knowing what I know now, obviously, you know, knowing that that was gonna be a thing. I know what the intentions were behind the location, the video, the song, all of it. And, you know, and I stand by all that, he said. As for Kid Rock, the all-summer-long singer received backlash earlier this year after he went viral for shooting cases of Bud Light with a semi-automatic rifle. The clip came shortly after the beverage brand tapped influencer Dylan Mulvaney for a sponsored video, which prompted both transphobic and hateful rhetoric from conservative social media personalities.